Hello everyone, so I hope you're having a lovely day because it sure is a lovely day where I am and I'm really upbeat because I'm alive. Um, yeah, I'm kind of getting over jet lag, so I'm kind of feeling alive right now. But anyway, um, this video, by the title you should see above you or above me, shall I say, um, this is a haul video for stuff I got on my recent holiday to Chicago go in the USA the windy city but it wasn't really that windy it was quite hot it should be called the hot city anyway yes I bought some things um, some of these things were not like on a list or anything I got them because I had to get them and I just thought I would show you what I got I also got other things like I'm not going to show you everything I mean I went to Target and I bought coffee mugs for my kitchen and I bought like a little drainer thing because I was like ooh handy and I also bought some other things like a potato peeler because it looked really cool things like that you know I went a bit house crazy too and I also bought like a suitcase to put it all in because I needed more space but yeah I'm not going to show you those things so I did buy other things but these are just some random pretty things for you to see and um also yeah i went like victoria secrets as well and bought knickers and you don't want to see my knickers do you really because this is not an adult channel anyway so yeah i'm gonna get started i just have some random things and i'm just gonna go through them um i'm not doing in like any kind of store order but i kind of went to target walgreens and Ulta and sephora that's basically where i went anyway first thing let's get started I bought a coconut body scrub. Um, this was like three dollars. It was from a supermarket. I think it was called Joel Olsen or something like that. But um, this was like three dollars, and it smells so good. Um, it has little beads in it. Can you see like these little beads? I feel really clogged up. Anyway, sorry. Um, little beads, scrub your body. I got um, a bit sunburnt so I just wanted a gentle exfoliation for my skin and this was really really good. I wish this was in the UK. I don't, I've never seen it before but I kind of sniffed it and I was like oh my god I have to have that and I brought it all the way back home with me because I only like used like a little smidgen of it but yeah really like this so if you can get this in the US if you're a US um, viewer of my channel then go for it but it's the soft soap body butter coconut scrub lovely jubbly um another thing i got just a cute little tiny handbag like um over the body cross over the body type bag i really oomed and awed about this i got this in target and um it's by the brand morono if that am i saying that right morono i don't know but yeah it's just like a little tiny satchel bag across the body um it was marked up at 19.99 and i was like i don't really need it but i kind of didn't have like a going out evening type bag so i was like um and, and i almost put it down but it was the only one i saw so i was just like i might buy it and then i went through the actual checkout and it came up at five dollars 98 so i was like well it was just meant to be because I think maybe it was like the last one they reduced it or something but it hadn't been written on there so I was really like lucky and fortunate that I got it reduced another thing I got was yes to grapefruit brightening facial wipes um I got these in Target did I just say that I think I just said that I'm sorry I'm repeating myself um these are exfoliating wipes for the face they're really big I tried one and it's like they're literally like huge I think they're like double the size of a simple wipe but yeah these are quite nice I wouldn't say they were overly exfoliating when I was trying it but I don't know um it was my first time so I just don't know but yeah I um, quite liked them um I like the, the kind of after effect on the skin but they looked like this and they smelt quite nice too and they were only like seven dollars and i thought i'm gonna try them in the states because in the uk they're bound to be more expensive because everything in the uk is expensive because it's the uk anyway i had to shave my legs so i had bought this it's the skin to raspberry rain i think i got this from jewel olsen um it was only like three dollars i was gonna get the small one but that was only like two dollars fifty and this was like three dollars so i thought why not get the big one instead because i needed this when i got home anyway because i'd run out so i got this and it smells pretty good you don't really get really nice smelling leg shaving foams in the uk you just get like boring ones but this was like mm, this smells good i'm gonna try that on my legs um 
I burnt myself when I was in the US. It was really hot. So we got this Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration After Sun. It's got co 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 <laughs> coconut and papaya fragrance. And it is nice. You could eat it. You could put it on your ice cream kind of thing. It has this really nice like wavy effect of different like layers. And it's just so nice. It's just like, mmm, you could eat it. Seriously, you could eat this. But yeah, I think it was about $7 or something like that. I have seen this in the UK, but it's expensive again. But yeah, I quite like that. And it did do the trick with like moisturising my skin after the whole burning thing. Um, next, I had nail polish on and I wanted to get it off because it was all chipped. So I picked up these. These are the Studio 35 Beauty Regular Nail Polish Remover Pads. So just individual little pads, which is so handy because... That it's not like a big bulky liquid bottle. You can just take this in like on the plane with you if you wanted to. But yeah, um, I think they were like five dollars. I got these from Walgreens, and I did want a bottle, but then I saw these. And I thought, well, might as well just get these. There's ten in a box, so really handy. Um, I also picked up. Um, I got these from different places, but they're the same thing. Um, I got one from Target, which was like $7, $10 or something like that, $9. And I got another one from Walgreens, which was like $11. So they're both the same thing, but they were different prices. So I was a bit miffed when one was more expensive than the other. But I didn't want to get them both at the same time because I thought the person might think I was a bit crazy. But this is my favourite under eye concealer, brightener. This is the Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Razor. For Maybelline, they don't have this shade in the UK. This is 110 Fair Claire. Um, they don't have this shade in the UK. That's why I ended up buying two. And one of these tubes lasts a whole year. So, and I was using it every day, the other one. Because the other one I have looks like this. It's like pretty much down to nothing. But yeah, um, this has taken me like just over a year to get there. Because I've been using it on and off but yeah i have backups now so i'm happy yay run to the hall okay next thing i have a body moisturizer and this is specifica indian coconut nectar i love this this smells if you could smell anything from the pacifica line smell this it is beautiful um i have like a coconut theme going on with like the um after sun and stuff but yeah um and the body scrub but yeah this i had like a little chew with this when i got it from new york like two three years ago and i loved that but you can't get it in the uk obviously because you know we're boring over here but this i got this in target and it was like 18 dollars expensive maybe you might think but you get a lot it's a big hefty tube and this can this is gonna last forever i know i have my um peach vine yard um body butter from body shop but this i just whenever i have this on my body people always compliment and say wow what are you what perfume are you wearing and i'm like it's a body lotion and it's coconut and i love it and i smell so good but yeah this if you can try this give it a go i have actually seen they sell little sets of this in Tesco's in the UK. So if you go to a Tesco's Extra and it's had the new beauty department area added to it, this might be in there. I know they have it down south where I live anyway. I'm not going to obviously give you my address. But yeah, I have seen it where I live. Um, nail polish I picked up um, four. In Ulta where I got these, there was a deal of the China Glaze. If you got two you got the third one free or half price or something like that so i picked up three shades this corally neon pink and it is pool party this i wore this once and it's so bright i kind of like just looked like neon now like woo -woo. it was really bright um and i also picked up this kind of i want to say it's like a cranberry color red cranberry like color and it is mediterranean charm um, this looks really pretty. I just can't wait to put this on. I might put it on today. So yeah, like that. And then I got a bright neon pink. Um, and this is the shade Pink Voltage. And I have looked at this online actually. And I was like, ooh, I wanted a neon pink for summer. And 
I had looked at this online, so when I found it, I was like, oh yeah, I'm having that. I also picked up another um, nail polish. This is the Sally Hansen um, shade in Pacific Blue. Um, I have actually put a picture of this on my blog, which I'll link um, below for you. But this is just the perfect blue I have been looking for for ages. Um, but yeah, beautiful, creamy, but not too dark, but not too light blue. It's just so pretty. Um, lips, I didn't go crazy in the lip department. I got this from Target. This is the MYX Lick, Lick, Lick lip butter or butter gloss should i say in eclair I, I wanted to get more but i was kind of low on money and i didn't want to just go crazy and buy like random ones and not like them so i got this kind of staple pink one have it on my lips at the moment it's kind of diluted with a lip um a lip balm but it's actually really pretty and not sticky mr motorbike go away you're getting in my video do one Yes, I really liked this and I think I might order some online. I know you can get MYX in the UK now, but only online. So that's frustrating. But yes, gonna get that. We'll get some more, shall I say. Got a beauty blender from Sephora. I have two already, but mine are like pretty old and knackered, so I got a new one. I love beauty blenders. I think I have to say I like beauty blenders more than brushes these days, which is saying something. Um, eyeshadows, I kind of went a bit crazy with the eyeshadows. I got two L'Oreal Infallible ones. I got a backup of the Amber Amber Rush, which is like the most favourite colour I have at the moment. Um, I have another one, but I wanted a backup, obviously, when it runs out, because you can't get this one in the UK, which is frustrating. And I got this one as well, which is Bronze Taupe, which is like a dark brown you can't get this in the UK as well, which sucks big time, but you can get these infallibles in the UK, but just not these two shades, which is really frustrating. Um, I also picked up another um, Walking on Eggshells um, Wet n Wild trio of shadows, which I love this trio. It's the best, and it was like $3 or something like that, and it's just, the pigment is great. I actually have them on my eyes today. I have my other one. I'm using and I sound really stuffy and grotty right now. I'm so sorry. Anyway, must carry on. Um, I bought a Benefit Their Real um, mascara, um, just a mini one. I had tried the big one once before but wasn't keen on it, but I just wanted to try it again to see if that was just a blip back in the day when I tried it the first time. But yeah, just a mini one for like $9. So I know you can get that in the UK, but I just. Then and there, I just bought it, but that got that from Ulta. Um, I bought some pink Victoria's Secret um, fragrance. This one was $18, reduced down to $9, and I really love the smell. It's just, oh God, it's so good. This is Par um, Party in Paradise Body Mist. And I also have this one, which is warm and cozy. It's just a mini bottle, and this was $8. Um, so I just thought this is great for my handbag and this is great for next to my bed when I want to smell like a goddess. Yeah. Anyway, um, I also picked up, uh, Jergens Natural Glow. It was a small tube. It was in Target and I was just like, I want to try it. You can't actually get this in the UK, which is frustrating because if I really like it, I can't get it. So but I'm going to try and use this on my face to give my face a little bit of a glow, um, for summer. So I don't want to look too, too pale and pasty. Also, I picked up something quite glamorous, and I wasn't expecting to like it, but I had seen pictures online. This is from Hourglass. Oh, expensive, but so pretty. This is the Mood Expose um, blush. I'd seen pictures, and I thought that was something I know I'm going to like. And I tried it, I swatched it in store, and I was just like, said to the hubby, what do you think? And he was like, I put like three next to each other. And he was like, no, I like that one. And it was this one he picked. I was like, I knew you'd say that. So I got it. And it was like $35, which is expensive for a blush. But it's so pigmented that you don't really need that much. And I can see it lasting for like years and years. So it's definitely worth the money when you think of it like that. Um, final thing I kind of got is the La Roque. Pro palette. I don't have the packaging because I left that there because that was big and bulky and I didn't really want to drag all that home and I needed the space basically. But 
Um, I did intend to get this. I actually was going to get the Too Faced Neutrals or Naturals palette, but I kind of thought that was like $38. You only got nine shadows, but this was like $42. And you got all of these. And I just thought, well, that's just crazy. I might as well just do that. And you also got a primer with it as well. So I kind of, you know, I just logically thinking, you're going to get more eyeshadows. But yeah, it's a little expensive, but you get this as well. Do it. You're only there once kind of thing. So that's what I did and I bought stuff. So yeah, that's everything I kind of got, like, pretty wise. I did, like, like I said in the, in the beginning, I did get other things as well. And I'm sounding even more croaky as I keep talking. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here. This is not a bragging video, by the way. This is just me saying this is things I got. If you're going to go traveling to the US, my hair's really funny. If you're going traveling to the US, this might give you some ideas what you might want to buy. So yeah, um, I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry I sound like I'm like on speed. I'm like talking a lot. But yeah. Have a nice day. See you in my next videos, guys. Bye.